Hey guys, I got another Bad Daddy story for you today. This one is kind of funny because it's comical in a way you will understand when I'm in the middle of it telling it. Now, back in the day, my father ran a warehouse on Hudson Street and Van Damme. In that warehouse, he had all kinds of storage units with all different kinds of supplies in them, uh, antiques, paintings, and etc. Everything, fireworks on the 4th of July, everything was in this warehouse. So me, my cousin Sal, and my brother, we take the train to Manhattan on Prince Street and we walk a couple blocks down to the warehouse I had the key to the warehouse because at the time I was living there. And what we do is we open up all the doors to the storage units and see what they got. Some of them had paintings, some of them had old toys, some of them had baseball cards, some of them had uh, Scott tissues, they had everything, cases of everything. So what we did was we grabbed four dollies and on the dollies we stacked a whole bunch of cases of stuff now in one of these storage bins we grabbed a whole box of opium i mean we thought it was opium it smelled like opium and we said wow look at this it's opium you know there was fireworks in there it was around the fourth of july and stuff like that we also grabbed a couple cases of some other things, but we filled up four dollies, maybe five feet high, and we we just took them out and we started walking them to the train station. So we start walking down Prince Street. Now, I don't know if you know downtown Manhattan, but downtown Manhattan from Van Dam to Broadway is maybe 10 blocks. So me, my cousin Sal and John, we're rolling these dollies down Broadway and we hit Sullivan Street, the block of Vincent de Chin's social club. As we hit Sullivan Street, my brother John, he is uh, an actor. He went to Lee Strasberg acting school. So he knew all these things about acting. Me, my cousin Sal, we liked music and stuff like that. Me, I like to steal. So all of a sudden, John goes, he says, holy shit. He said, look, there's Matt Dillon. I said, fuck Matt Dillon. Forget about Matt Dillon. Come on, we got to get out of here. We got to hit the train. We got to get this stuff home, you know? So he starts chasing Matt Dillon. And my cousin Sal starts following him. And I go... What are you doing? What are you fucking crazy? Come on, we gotta get out of here. So anyway, I put the four dollies to the side of a wall in a corner, okay? They run all the way to Spring Street. It's a block away, Sullivan and Spring. And on the corner, there's a pizzeria. The pizzeria been there forever. So I'm saying, you know what, fuck this Matt Dillon. What are you fucking crazy? Come on, we gotta get the fuck out of here. So we hit the pizzeria, Matt Dillon is eating a slice of pizza. John is memorized, Sal's memorized. Wow, Matt Dillon, can I have your autograph? So then all of a sudden I go like this, I go, hey, Matt Dillon, can I have your autograph? I'm effing him saying, we gotta get out of here. And then all of a sudden I'm saying, oh, let me have your autograph. Anyway, he gives me his autograph. I have it to this day. And it says to Jimmy C, see the best Matt Dillon. I mean, it was a good moment, you know, you see Matt Dillon, he was making Drugstore Cowboy at the time, Rumble Fish, the outside is he was a big star at the time. So, you know, we were pretty mesmerized when we seen him. And then after that, we got the dollies and we got him on the train and we got him to my house. At this time, I was living on Avenue, I had an apartment on Avenue U. When we got to Avenue U, 
we opened up some of the boxes. Some of the boxes had old toys in them. Uh, one of them had a whole thing of opium, which it smelled like incense. And the other one had a box of individually tampons. I looked at it, I said, what the fuck is this? And then my sister comes in, she says, these are tampons. I said, holy shit. We had like four boxes of tampons individually wrapped for like the vending machines. So I get the incense and what I do is I smell it. I get some tinfoil and I start bagging it up. I put little like things of the incense in tinfoil and I start bagging it. I roll them up and I start selling them for $10. So I'm selling them. I give something to Paul E.G. I said, Paul, I said, here, take a bag of these. There's a hundred in there. You know, I sell them for $10 a piece. I give some to Reynolds. I give some to Fabrizio. Kids on Avenue U, my cousin Sal, John. So we're selling incense. We're telling everyone it's opium and they're smoking the incense. They're mixing it with the weed and they're saying, oh, wow, this is good stuff. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it was really funny. And some guy said, he said, Jimmy, you sure they're seeing incense? You know what I mean? It don't taste like opium. I said, what are you, crazy? Come on. It's opium. Come on, stop it, will you? But anyway, it was a really funny moment because I had everyone in the neighborhood smoking incense. So it was real comical. And the funny thing with all the tampons and stuff like that. So that's a quick Bad Day Avenue story for you today. It was just a funny one just to break the ice. I hope everyone's good out there. Now, I have this poster behind me that I made. I'm going to start selling them too. It's a Bad Day Avenue story. If you see, it's really pretty and beautiful. I'm going to stand up and you can check it out. Okay? It's very nice. It's a 48 by 48. I want you to check it out, okay? It's pretty cool. You got the guy over here killing this guy. You got the Brooklyn Bridge. You got the two guns up here. The baseball bats on the side. I mean, my brother did this artwork. It's very pretty and it's beautiful. So, you know, it's a real beautiful piece. If you're interested, and you want something like that, let me know. But I appreciate you guys so much. I'm going to continue giving these stories. The next story I'm going to probably give is the Vincent Bickman murder of how that started and how it ended. Now, a lot of people are telling me, Jimmy, talk about your friends and their characters. Now, I do want to talk about them. And I'm going to get into a couple of them. Now, I'm going to start with Joey Calco. Joey Calco was a devious kid. Sometimes he was your friend, sometimes he wasn't. He wasn't an original member of the Bad Day Avenue crew. I have to stress that. He came later on. There was times where me and Polio, we bought a bow and arrow, and we were going to shoot Joey Calco because he was a loner and troubled kid. None of the guys wanted him. The Gambino guys didn't want him. The Bonanno guys didn't want him. The Lucchese guys didn't want him. A lot of guys didn't want him. We hung out with him every so often, but usually he was a backstabber. He really was. But the next one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about him and talk about his character and talk about all my friends' characters how we all met and how we formed the Bad Day Avenue crew. So with that said, look forward to the next video tomorrow. I'll be putting it out. Good night to everybody. If you like this video, subscribe. And I love you guys. I love your support. And thanks for having my back. I truly appreciate it. And I have your back. Until tomorrow, I'll see you again. Bye.